afternoon baseball here on the show. Today, it's the home opener for this new season between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. Folks around here in high spirits. Matt Vaskersian with you on a day that's been circled on their calendars since about midwinter. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak. And the staffs for these two teams are sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. Just like any team, pitching is going to be a key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but if they can pitch like they can, I think this team is going to be pretty successful. All right, the stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Michael Walker gets the ball for the opener in front of these hometown fans. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Michael Walker, he brings the straight changeups. That's his best pitch. Drafted in the first round out of Texas A&M University. Good fastball, not a great fastball. 92 to 95, more of a straight fastball. The curveball is good, but he's known for the straight changeup. If he brings that good changeup, he can shut anybody down. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in Gene Segura. First pitch coming, here it is. These Mets fellas, as they take the field here today, they come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. You know, Matty, the season's such a grind, and you fight so hard day in, day out, and you're playing against the best players in the world, so you know you're going to lose some games coming out of spring training. To get on a roll where you win seven in a row, a week of everything coming together, that's a special feeling. And a wise decision there to make sure this ball stays foul, and that's the second strike. One out, nobody on. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. He can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. To the plate now, Mark Withenshaw. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two and zero to the Philly center fielder, and set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington. As you see, the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Maddie, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt, I'm okay with it. You know, one of the things I guess with Clyde is he is a real good low strike umpire. And we'll have to leave it there as the play. Zach Wheeler, the right-handed Georgia native, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, listen, when you can go seven full innings like he did, I know he got a no decision in his last start, but it was a real solid performance. If he continues to pitch like that, the wins are going to start coming. At plate number three, it'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. 
Dan Dero, these Phillies, as they begin play here today, they come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, Matty, this team's in the grind part of their schedule right now. Just had a short homestand, able to say hello to the family, kiss the wife, tuck the kids in at night, and they're back on the road again. This should be interesting to see the energy this team plays with today. One and one to the Mets' leadoff hitter. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Williams is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. So here's Brandon Nimmo. His career line against Wheeler. He comes in hitting right at a 300 clip. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nimmo, a rare Wyoming native, who was selected in the first round back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go in the high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Bases are empty, one man out. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. And he fouls this one off. He's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Hit in the air down the right field line. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. Still no score. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Number three. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And this is strike three ball, says Clyde Washington. Like the look a bit low, but that's out number one. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on post pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. No score here as we play inning number two. One and two now. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Fouled off. Oh. 
tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Now the payoff pitch home is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Hate to be captain obvious here, but he looks great to begin this start. That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. Standing in, Nick Williams. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Here it comes. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. Two balls, two strikes to Nick Williams. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Nope. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Well, that pitch was like a backdoor cutter, if you will. It starts well off the plate and almost cuts back to the corner. That's a tough hit. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Last half of the second set to go. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Pete Alonso. Oh, what the... Now the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. 1-0 home. Hit hard on the ground and short. Hasegura with a sliding stop. Got him! And what a vital play there, preventing the leadoff man from getting aboard. The right here. Let go. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Wheeler has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job of keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Now the 2-1. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle. And man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. 2-2. Uh, Still even at 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball, and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end, and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 
Bottom of the second here with no score. Slider laid off for a ball. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come faster. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Fouled away. Uh, two two. Three ball. Wow, Great. talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. We'll move to the third with no score. Standing in, Omar Narvaez. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading he off the third Philadelphia. after the first six the guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Narvaez has been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Now the pitch. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. That's ball. Ball two. Count is two and one. Two and two the count. Now here's the pitch. Three ball. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's the first down. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his That's swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Here's Marlon Gonzalez now. He looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. And a pitch oh. in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Bouncer up the middle. Flores is there. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. And this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Zach Wheeler. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hip column. Ready, here's the first offering. Oh, oh, uh, one the 1-0. One -oh. That ball four. Can't fall behind Two against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. This will be fouled away. Grounder. 
Carpenter down the line at third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Well-located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. To third. And an offline throw, but he just does get back to the bag for the put out. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Now here it comes. Davis, California-born ball player. He's a five-year vet at the major league level. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit call. And that's too high, ball two. Two balls, no strike. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. Now the three and zero oh offering. And he won't even have to take the bat off. It's Moorings, a four-pitch walk here. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. So one got in the inning here with a runner at first. And the veteran right-hander Michael Waka will hit next. Now the pitch, and they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now batting, number three. Settling in now, number three. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Oh. And there's ball one. One ball, one strike. The set and the one one. Two and one. Well that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that. There's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. A three ball, ball one strike count to the Mets shortstop. One thing's clear, he's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. You know he wants to end this inning right here on 3-2, and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Payoff pitch on its way, and it's fouled away. Set the payoff pitch. 
swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Matt Strand one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Ready now, Cesar Hernandez. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. The pitch. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Now the pitch. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Racing back, the right fielder gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Second home run early in the year, and the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. Well, if you're going to get your first hit of the game, you might as well do it with a bang. He thought he could squeeze one past him, but he thought wrong. Get to Philadelphia. The Gene Segura Gene standing in. Segura. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Fastball just misses, that's ball one. One run, just one hit, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Back up the middle, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And no chance at a recovery here, as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal on a spot like that. That's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit. And I'm sure it was. A shot down the first baseline. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Oh and one, here it comes. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Conforto will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now batting, the right fielder, Bryce Harper. And Bryce Harper will dig into the plate. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. stretch here's the pitch and a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball good job by the catcher to keep the ball from getting too far away and allowing that base runner getting the scoring position that keeps the double play in order which they need seeing as they've already given up one run in this inning and a dive but he's back in ball two you can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Throw over to the bag, and the runner back safely. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Ball, impact. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three-ball count. Make 
misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. The first base number 17. Reed. Two on here with one man out. And that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses inside 1-0. That misses 2-0. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. Now the 2-0. 3-0 now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Good fastball down around the knees there, taking for a strike. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Segura on second. Harper is over at first with one away. Okay. And it's full now, three and two. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. That's the second walk in the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. So the bases are loaded here with one man gone. And digging in at the plate, the Texas native Nick Williams. He's set, here it comes. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. And now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. Swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Ball that's carrying, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. Cash in here as the run is in to score from third. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Into the box, Omar Narvaez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The pitch is circle changed just a bit inside, and it's 2 0 now. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. 2-1. Still only one out in the inning. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. The 2-2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. And the 1-1. One, one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. 
He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Two and one, here it is. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Three and one, here it is. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. This side is retired. Fair to say. Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. Back with more fun here on a Friday afternoon after this. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And ready to bat next, the Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. Only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Your idea of work and account goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. Fastball call. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And whoa, look at that for a top speed. 98 miles an hour. That man is flat feeling. In now, Jeff McNeil. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And now pitch on the way. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And he will run this one down. Good lead off the bat for the second out. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the first pitch. The 1 0. And he fouls this one off. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's 1 and 2. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. And he got him. Mets go down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. up will be the Phillies pitcher Zach Wheeler he'll start things out as we begin the fifth first pitch on its way late that time for a strike and he misses with it one and one there's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that for a strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. And no complaint about that one. That's a strike, and it's one and two. On its way is pitch number 75. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Use 
Actually, pitching is all yeah. about mixing pitches and location. But Big he threw that all up the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Stepping in now, Cesar oh. Hernandez. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. The 1 0 home. Four pitches, all takes, and showing a lot of patience here. And I like that from a guy like him, Eddie. He can do a lot of damage on a base pass with his legs, so there's no reason for him to get overly aggressive if he's not getting anything to handle. Inside, he misses ball four. When a guy homers off you early in the game, the last thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. Two takes, and now he's down 0-2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give the guy first oh, chance to run. Safe. And the runner back in standing. Two runs, three hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Segura behind oh. on a one and two count. One ball, two straight. Fouled off. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Now a hard liner. But this is a foul ball. Runner at first here. One man out. To two balls and two strikes now. Now this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches. And doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. 2-2. Two, two. Laid Three off up for ball three. number three. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. Payoff pitch on its way. Get back up the middle. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. The throw to third. And he is in He's there. In there. He's safe. Hey, Debro, looks like they might finally have something going after that base hit. First and third, one out, and maybe now they can get something started. Yeah, you could tell the third base coach was going to be aggressive right there, right? A nice read by both him and the base runner to take that extra base and put them in scoring position. They've been, they've been struggling right now to get guys in scoring position. In now, Mark Withenshaw. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. 0 oh for 2 from him so far in this one. One and one. one ball. Action one in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. Runners are at the corners with one man out. One and two now. From the stretch.
the ground to second base. This could be two. So the first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. The left field of the three. Right. Harper. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Bryce Harper. He was a walk in his last trip. Set and the pitch. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Ball in a strike. Might have to change your game plan in the box right here. If he's going to pound away, might have to work the opposite field. One one. And he continues to labor here, coming up on 100 pitches in just the fifth inning. Boy, d -Row, this is a spot right now. If you're an offense, you start Three, flipping your chop. Pitch count starting to get up into the fifth inning. They could be sitting on some big knocks right here. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. You're looking for something middle of the plate right here. He doesn't have a great feel for his breaking stuff. Maybe he hangs something. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit softly down the line at first. And he'll smartly just ensure that this stays a foul ball. This is skied into short left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies three, and the Mets nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with the Mets manager to discuss his thoughts on his club's offense so far. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Thank you, Heidi. So, digging in now, Michael Conforto. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. And the pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Count now a ball and a strike. A one one home. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. The one two. Is a call third strike down in the zone. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty dominant performance on the mound. And these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you the last throughout most of the game, like it has here. At the plate, Wilmer Flores. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Let's 
swing and a liner. Foul. One out, nobody on. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. This is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Bouncer to the left side. And there's out number two. Next up from New York, Wilson Ramos. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the first pitch. And this is low ball one. And that catches the outside edge one and one. Wheeler sets his sights. Here's the pitch. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. The 1 2. He spoils another one and will do it again. Uh, two, two, one more time. Hit on the ground after short. Segura fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. They trail in this one, 3-0. Justin Wilson will come on and now make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 38, Justin Wilson. Set for the start of the inning, and next will be the imposing power bat, Reese Hoskins. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Looks like he was trying to bust him inside, and he might have held on to it just a little bit too long. Just like that, the leadoff man is aboard. Up next will be Nick Williams. Singled homer run in his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike taken up in the zone. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. Hello. Fastball here, not close, and it's one, one and one, one now. Three. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. One and one pitch is taken for ball two. A runner at first with no outs here. A 
three one count to the Phillies left fielder he drilled the previous batter and now he falls behind three one to this guy the last thing you can do though is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. hitters count all the way here it comes okay. looked like he tried to pull it there but he swings right through the fastball he was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one so so now we've got a battle on our hands from the belt kicks and deals swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one that swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on the ball it's really not the best two strike approach either Standing in now, Omar Narvaez. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Blown away as he misses again, 2 and 0. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. 2 and 0 count, here it comes. <laughs> Runners on first with one down. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Marwin Gonzalez, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Three one pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And into bat next, the utility man extraordinaire Marwin Gonzalez. On the stretch. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. A one and zero delivery. This one's a strike. It's one and one. Fouled away. Runner on first with two away. And another foul ball. And a slider swung on and missed and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia. They lead it three to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and into bed next to be JD Davis. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on, or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. One and zero oh the count. Now here's the pitch. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. 
swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have his lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up to the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Ahmed Rosario will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hitting for the bat. Number one. Ahmed. Rosario. Popped him up. Segura over to his right. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batter. Number three. Ready for another shot now. Number three. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Now the pitch. Oh. What a number. Line hard, but this will be a foul ball. Wheeler gets the sign. Here's the one and one. Two and one. I tried to jerk Not that two. one, and it's two and two. Two out, nobody on. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Mets go down one, two, three. Still down three, nothing. Seth Lugo is on to pitch from now, the now, now to start inning number seven. Number 57. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Zach Wheeler. First pitch coming, here it is. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. The 1-1. One, one. In the air out toward right field. Conforto is in his tracks now, and he puts it away for the first down. Now back, second base, Cesar Hernandez. Cesar Hernandez will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. Solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. Here comes the first pitch. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line into the upper deck, but foul. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. When it left his bat, I thought it might for a foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second.
So now to the plate, Gene Segura. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Right fielder coming on. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The third fielder, Mario Lippenstrom. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mark Withenshaw. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Ready with the 0-1. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. One. Looked at for ball number two. Now the two one pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Conforto is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Philly strand one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Last half of the seventh year, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. We're moving right along into this one as we hit into the late inning. Listen, if you want to score, you got to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that so far. So hopefully this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Wind up, and the 0-1. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. And he comes back with a fastball. One, ball. One and two now. Nimmo with an even count of two and two now. Here now the two two. Three ball. Hey, throwing the ball great up to this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seven. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. So a runner at first now with nobody out, and that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. From the stretch. Down the first baseline. This gets foul. It's 0-1. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going and claw your way back into this ball game. Nobody out. Runner up first. And he plays off for ball one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. This one's in there. Maybe should have been strike three, but instead it's one and two now. to two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Withenshaw will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back first. Now batter, the first base pick, Oh, 
Next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo, who sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this evening. Ball one to start the at bat. Runner at first here, one man out. That evens it up, one and one. A ball and two strikes now. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Ball and two strikes from Zach Wheeler. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Runners on first with one down. Hit down the third baseline. And that's through for a base hit. And the no hitter is gone. And he's safe. Ah, they finally break through for their first hit of the ball game, so the no-hit bid will end right here. Yeah, Matty V, this is when you start thinking about that no-no. You get into the seventh inning, D-Ro. As a pitcher, you start looking ahead to what might happen. And that donut spares you from an offensive standpoint as well. This guy's had his A game. You can't deny the fact that he's pitched the heck of the game, but from an offensive standpoint, you never stop grinding to get a crooked number up on that board. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Michael Conforto is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now you want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Fouled away. The next 0 2. That's the ball. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Runners are at first and third, one away. Bounce towards the second baseman. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. To the plate now, Wilmer Flores. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Counts even at one and one to Wilmer Flores. Called strike and he's behind one and two. With runners on base, two outs and two strikes, this is a big next pitch for both sides. Wheeler pauses. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. High fly ball after straightaway center. 
Withenshaw is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Two left for the Mets. They trail it here, three to nothing. And that one will be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Bryce Harper, no hits to this point. Fielder number three, Bryce Harper. First pitch of the at bat. And that misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Now it's 2 and 0. Pitching isn't always about getting everyone out. Sometimes it's about being smart and knowing when to pick your battles. He's been really careful with this hitter so far, and rightfully so. Too high, and it's 3 and 0. Reese Hoskins is on deck. is the 3-0 and a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning well that is definitely not the way to start an inning one thing to give up a walk but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming he looks a little thrown off right now into the box Reese Hoskins he was drilled by a pitch his last time up yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Runners on the move for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big. And plus, this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. The 0-1 delivery. Hit well on the ground to first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. So runners at the corners now. Nobody out. And digging in at the plate, the Texas native Nick Williams. Ready. Here's the first offering. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Runners are at first and third with none out. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. So striding forward now, Omar Narvaez. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. It's coming. Here it is. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Now 1-0. He may be down 2-0 after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They did miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. Swing and a lighter into right center. That's going to be a base hit. And another runs across as this is now a 4-0 ball game. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead. They're a grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer warming up. When you see a three-run lead and then your offense gets it to four, you know that same situation's got out the window. Don't tell me that. Oh, it does. Oh, oh, it does because, Nero, the only way you're going to get into this game is it has to be a safe situation. You sit and watch eight innings of baseball. You get up to warm up in the ninth, and you're all ready to go thinking, hey, I'm going to come in and get me a three-out save, and all of a 
a sudden you're out of the game because it's a four-run lead. Of course you think about it as a reliever. Into the box, Come Marwin one Gonzalez. Three. Owen won the count. From the stretch. First and second now, one man out. Hold high in the air out to right field. Conforto back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Now that the pitcher, Zach Wheeler. So here now is the pitcher, Zach Wheeler. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. off below the zone. The one two is laid off for ball two. He went deep earlier so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. So one run on three hits, no errors, and they leave the bases loaded. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Phillies four and the Mets nothing. Now with the plate, Wilson Ramos. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Pitch of the at bat on its way. Too high to start the inning. It's 1 0. Now, some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right hander start to loosen. The 1 0 home takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So, with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout attack going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Into the box now, J.D. Davis. Yes, he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He went down on strikes last time up. The 1 0. It's a fastball that misses. That 
one's more like it, he says. Back to two and one now. A runner at first with no outs here. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to strike the inning. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And that is going to be all for Zach Wheeler. So he'll depart after working seven plus, and he stands to be the winning pitcher in this one. Jose Alvarez will come on and make his fourth now appearance in this campaign. Number 52, Jose Alvarez. Andres Jimenez will grab Number a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Jimenez. Here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Comes in with the changeup, and it's 2-0. and Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. and Number three, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. Here it comes, the 3-0. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. Now back to the top of the Mets order, digging in number three. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line drive to center field. All coming on hard as he makes the diving catch. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Man, this is a spot where you really want to get greedy as a hitter. Bases loaded, nobody out. You're hoping for that big swing of the bat. What does he get? A sacrifice fly, and only one run scores. I'm sure he wanted more, but he's not going to complain about the RBI. So we've got runners at the corners here. One away, and ready to bat next for Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. Pitch of the at bat. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. The 1 0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. Run on two hits, and they leave one. We played 8 4. Philadelphia is on top, 4 to 1. Chase Bryant enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Shin Segura. Here's the first pitch to him. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. The 
the 2-0. Three ball, no strike. Mark Withenshaw is on deck. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Yeah. Hit weakly back to the mound. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. The center fielder, number 24, Mark Whippenshaw. At the plate now, Mark Whippenshaw. And he fouls this one off. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Now the 0 1. Throw over to first, and he's back standing. The 1-1 one, one home. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. That's just what they did right there. But big strikeout, right. keep that guy off the base path. Harper. Here's a look over first. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now a throw over. He just manages to get his hand in. The 1-0 home. Outside, two and one. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Two, one, here it is. Up. Torres is calling for it, and that's the second out of the inning. Now back the first base, Reese Hoskins. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Throw over to the bag. First pitch on its way. Ball one taken just off the inside. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Two out with the man at first. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Fouled off. Now a move 
move over to first. Runners back. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. One hit, one left. Nothing in the Philadelphia ninth. Last chance coming up for the Mets. They trail here four to one. David Robertson takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. For 30, David Robertson. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Digging in is the outfielder, Jeff McNeil. Not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Here comes the first pitch. This is on the ground over the first. And he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. So his day fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Philly starter. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Matty B really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitch in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. Here's Pete Alonzo as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Softly hit out towards short. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. That's the name of the game right there, boys. Get on base any way possible. They're not all going to be beauties, but that one falls in front of the left field. So a runner at first now with one away, and up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. Yep, there's another heater right there. He is not going to deviate. He is going to pitch to his strengths. He doesn't care who's in the box. Runner at first here, one man out. One and one. As a look, now the pitch. It's one and two. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Yanked on the ground down the line. Foul 
fouled away. He'll try it again, three and two. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he'll strike out here yet again. It's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Wow, he's just now lost boss in this one. Pick. That's the fourth oh, time he struck out in this game oh, alone. Right. And that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. Oops. He'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Robertson's ready. Here's the 0-1. Oh, one. Plays off the slider that time. Two and one. A runner on first with two away. All even now. Two and two. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Williams is under it. Makes the catch. And that's the ball game. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season. It certainly won't be his last. And the score finishes 4-1 today. The Phillies took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Zach Wheeler gets the win on the mound his first of the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. David Robertson hammers down the save his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.